When I worked at Harlem RBI in 1999, the whole organization fit into one room on a storefront on Hunter Street. Occasionally after school, two elementary school students, two siblings would come by. They lived on the block, Lucy and Angel Pino. They would come into the office lugging their big backpacks and sit at Harlem RBI's only table, which was in the center of the room, surrounded by the four desks the organization had. We didn't have programs for youth every day way back then, so I had some time to be with them. I would pick up whatever was on the table to give them some room to work and go to the bodega next door to scrounge up some chips and likely a sugary drink. We would talk about their days and they would sit and do their homework and sometimes ask me or one of the other staff members for some help. I particularly remember that they used to talk about the animal that was at that time making noise between the walls of the office. There was some kind of animal running about and scratching the inside of the walls. For whatever reason, it was particularly active around 3 p.m. when Lucy and Angel were around. They named it the Critter. Eventually, we had more to offer. Lucy grew up to be an important part of the Harlem RBI Lady Yank softball team that won a few championships. I think of Lucy and Angel when I think of Dream's 30th anniversary. The organization has expanded beyond that little room with four desks and a table. It has grown to have so much more depth and breadth and quality than it did back in 1999. But the most important things remain, remain the same. It is still a place where young people come to be supported by adults who care about them and offer them a place to learn and grow. And hopefully the critters are gone.